what's up travelers in this video we're gonna be in Pisa Italy and we're gonna be visiting the Cathedral of Pisa and then we're gonna go get some amazing Piccio Pepe and that's gonna be the video but I just want to give you a heads up give me a little bit of patience on this because I'm learning a new editing software um, but in the long run I think my videos are gonna get quite a bit better because of it so stick around and check it out Construction of the Romanesque Pisa Cathedral began in the year 1064 AD, then it was consecrated 124 years later. In 1695, a fire ravaged through the cathedral, which destroyed the original bronze doors, which were replaced by copies of the original by Bonanno in the 17th century. Bonanno is more famously known as St. Rainerius, the patron saint of Pisa, whose remains lay here in the cathedral, along with Emperor Henry VII of Luxembourg. The church is dedicated to the Assumption of Mary, and you will notice this influence in the amazing artwork that you find around the building, most from after the fire. Most famously, the dome painting of Mary and the Saints was painted by Orazio and Rimanaldi in the 17th century. All right, let's go find some food. What's up travelers? So I'm sitting here at Antica Trattoria Tonietta. I'm looking at the 
Leaning Tower of Pisa and the, the Domo Cathedral of Pisa right as we speak, right from the, where I'm sitting. I came here because they have uh, a pasta called uh, Pizzi, which is a hand-rolled spaghetti, so it's like really thick, and uh, they've got peachy and cheese, so I'm guessing it's going to be somewhat kind of like a cacio e pepe, but different pasta, probably different cheese. So that's why we're here. And then we're just probably going to roam around town a little bit after we eat that and then catch a train back to Florence and because we got to get ready to head on to Rome tomorrow. So should be good times. All right, so we got our peachy pasta, peachy and cheese, and it looks delicious. It smells fantastic, and I am ready to eat some. Oh, look how thick these noodles are. Ooh, hot. Maybe I wasn't ready to eat any. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is, that is awesome, nice, starchy, gooey, just unbelievable. So the cheese, it's nice and, and mild, really kind of mellow. It, totally, totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, these noodles are just awesome. Mm. I wish we could find these in the States. I'm just going to have to get a pasta machine. So I was planning on going to another place here in Pisa, but we're in Italy and everything closes at 2 for the most part and then doesn't open until 7. And I'm about an hour train ride away from Florence where I'm staying for the night. And uh, I didn't want to wait to eat at 7 and then walk 20 minutes to the train station and then another hour on the train to get to my bed. So I picked this place. It's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's close to Pisa. Definitely it's worth it. This is the Pisan style pasta. Is, this is the kind of pasta that was created here. It's what they're known for. And it might not be the best in town, but it's pretty good. If you've enjoyed this video and you like videos that have cool tours, destinations, awesome food from around the world, and just cool historical things that, you, that I run into along the way, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so YouTube lets you know whenever I upload a video. And as always, eat great food.